So basically all this is is just a giant, giant tilt trailer then, right? Big rollback. Big rollback. Y'all check that out. I didn't know what I was getting into when I came up here today. You know, just talking to Lindsay there, you, you never know through the YouTube stuff, you know, what who you're helping or how your videos are impacting people and everything and it's uh very humbling to talk to him and hear what all he just told me a while ago about the chainsaws and how he got started and he's actually got a video you can go to his channel there smith works where he hit just hit a thousand subscribers and he talks about it some of it well, so there's the master link right there. You can see it. But, uh, it's, it's some cool stuff. So he's getting rid of the 306 and buying this. There's a master link there on top of there. So cool, man, so cool. Dogs are checking it out. <laughs> um, so he, he wants me to drive it first too. It's crazy, man. So, uh, I looked up and found Lindsey's phone number, got his phone number, and I, I just called him last night out of the blue. And he didn't know I was gonna call him. And, uh, just talked to him for a while last night. And I didn't know his, I knew his last name was Smith, but I didn't know what his, I didn't know his first name. So it took me a little while to kind of figure out his, his first name. Brand spanking new boy. Two hours on a look at the backup camera on it right there. had to flip the parking brake off and then on the pilots right there on it.
even showing the, the grade on it there. Bitch, you know. Like I said, I, I wasn't quite expecting all this here. Seatbelt, huh? Look at the screen on that thing right there. Let me put the seatbelt on so it'll be quiet. There we go. So you can increase your ground control right there by bumping that thumb switch right there. There's your blade angle back and forth and the tilts on the stick just like it'd be. Two, this thing right here is freaking awesome. That's the horn. No, it's not every day that you get to meet the man that <laughs> kind of got you started and he gets to drive your new dozer up the driveway. I can't believe you wanted me to do that, man. <laughs> I mean, a brand new dozer, yours, and you, know you want long? and you wanted me to drive it up here like that. What the heck, dude? You know how many minutes I've been in one? How many? About six minutes. Really? Oh, this thing right here is right now. I mean, just the, the feel of it, the way it felt just then right there. This thing right here is right. The only time I've been in here is we went to Memphis for that. Yeah, that's right. Operation Challenge. Yeah. And that was one of the... And that was it. One of the courses. And I was like, I ain't never been in a dozer. I said, get in. And what's this one supposed to be running? Like 20,000, right? Yeah, 21, 20, somewhere around okay. there. Something like that. It's, it's the same as the D5K was. Okay. It's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. but, yeah, because I see it's got, it's got death, so it's going to be probably, what, 100 horsepower? 100, maybe like 120 or... 120, okay. I wow. don't know, maybe 105, 120, something like that. The camera in it is awesome. Is it? Yes. Oh, yeah. It's... All I've done is I got in it and turned the key on, and that's it. <laughs> but I do have a root rake order. Oh, do you? The guy down in Eupora is building it. Uh-huh. Hmm. So there's a death and fuel. Hydraulic. We got them all. There's a, there's a little camera right there. On it. I ain't got my tracks on there. 
like I said, I, I can't believe you wanted me to drive that thing like it. That's crazy. Oh, that thing right there is is right. I mean, when I was up there with Let's Dig back in January, that's the first time I've ever been on a Komatsu dozer and ran it. And, you know, I put like 16 hours on that D51 up there. Yeah. And, I mean, that thing that thing was, was sweet too, man. I, I liked it. And, uh, and so this thing right here is right also. I mean, just the feel of it. I think it'll be big enough for you know for what i'm needing but not too big on it so yeah just had to bring it here it's kind of gonna hurt my feelings to grind on a brand new nose <laughs> and weld on it <laughs> hey yeah i'm sure you know this be sure to unconnect the battery i was gonna ask yeah always on any of this new stuff yeah. always take always disconnect to take a i see take, some guys say still unplug from the ECM, do you still do you have to do that? Or? I think it kind of depends on what it is. I know, like on our war tile on our processor head, if we did any well and we unconnected the ECM on it. Um, the biggest thing about welding on them is just make sure that where you're welding, you ground right there as close as you can to it. That way, it's not cycling through anything. So, you wouldn't want to ground it back here on the back and be up here welding on the front, and that's gonna get you, but uh. Yeah, man, that thing is uh slick looking. So they let's see. So can't change the the numbers on this stuff. So you got the D, you got a D two and a D one. You got a D one, a two, three, a four, five, a six. It's like every. So the the three is the same as the as the old five. Old five K. Old five K. I think, I think uh, CNC, you know, Clint. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think he explained the reason why they did it is because it was so confusing. You had a D5K, you had a D5 something else. Yeah, like a D6, you had like three or four versions yeah. of it. But it still, they just still confuse the crap out of people. Right. Like this, so. Right. Well, that's kind of like the 306 excavator. It's. You know, like a 305 is a 10,000 plus pound machine, yeah. okay? Well, you'd think a six would be a 12,000, 12, yeah. but it's not. Yeah. That's what I thought too. And then I, I when I got it, it's like 16,000 pounds. I was like, this ain't 12,000 pounds. No. Uh, I was like, no. why is it a 306? You yeah. Know? yeah. Well, I don't know. So, the numbers don't matter anymore, apparently. Uh, no, they, they don't. Obviously, they don't, but. Huh. Well, that that was pretty cool to get the opportunity to uh, drive a brand new machine like that. I wasn't wasn't expecting that at all. This thing right here, dude, you ought to be able to do some grading with this thing. What you talking about? Because, so, like, when I do the mobile home pads and stuff like that, I have to take that and the skid steer. You know, because the skid steer don't do not do just great getting rid of stuff. You know, especially where we live, it ain't nothing but clay. Yeah. So maybe this thing will allow me just to have one machine versus mm -hmm. having to haul two. But, and then moving the brush piles. So So you're still going to have another excavator, right? What's your, it's yeah, a 313? 313. 313, 313. Yeah. okay. So you're not going to be completely out of the excavator. You'll have that 313 to run and, right. and, and, if you're going to do a lake dam or something, you could cord and fill and push right. in with this thing here. This is this is more to complement the 313 and right. have that team. Because when I'm on a job with 313, I don't really need 306. And I can't be in both of them, you know, at the same time. So. Yeah, because you're a one-man show too, right? Yeah. What, uh, did you have to wait on this one right here? I waited. I ordered it in either... September or October of 20, what is it? 22? Yeah, 22. So basically six months. Pretty much, yeah. And, and yeah, I didn't know if I was going, uh, because a, a couple of weeks ago, I just said, you know, there's just no way, you know, 
I can do it. But then now I, I really need one. So mm -hmm. it's like, well, I don't need the 306. I could use it, but I don't just need it. So one thing led to another. You know what we could do? We could get a really viral video right here. You know, you since you have such a beef with your brother-in-law and he keeps all this mess <laughs> parked over here, we could take right quick since he's going out of town, yeah. and we could bury his stuff. We could dig a hole over it's there a and just idea. and just leave the top of it exposed, <laughs> you know, and uh, and then we would. Uh, We'd have us a good viral That's video right there. You could take idea. care of him or whatever. <laughs> I'm <laughs> telling you, he ain't paid his rent to park his junk here. <laughs> like That's his fire I'm having yeah. 10. So, so it, here's the here's a whole crazy thing. This whole thing is full circle kind of deal. So his brother-in-law is in the tree business. He's a daggum arbor. So he's got a grapple saw truck sitting right there. And he got a 2550 Bandit. And he's got a Vant loader in that dump trailer right there. And he's got a CMC, I think that's an 83 foot lift over there on that iron bull trailer over yonder. And there's this chip truck. And he's got a chipper. And, uh, but. He ain't got nowhere to park my stuff. He ain't got nowhere <laughs> to park Lindsay's stuff. And, uh, and he's done made so much money. What did you say he done went to the beach or something? Done gone? Yeah, or, done gone to the beach. Gone, gone, gone to Florida. Gone to Florida. Come up here. He's hoping gonna kill two birds with one stone. That sap sucker's gone. <laughs> Cause I figured he'd be on a tree job somewhere today, and he ain't, he ain't nowhere to be found. So we just dig a big hole out there and bury his stuff <laughs> up. <laughs> just leave the top of it up. Oh, man. <laughs> leave him a note on it. Said, "Figure it out, yeah. dude." <laughs> Can't use my stuff to get it out. Well, man, I I tell you, I appreciate you letting me come up here and uh, and play on your stuff and an honor to get to drive your brand new bulldozer, man. I'm and, and he so this uh he built this chainsaw over here it's kind of a he, you just bought part you just bought parts and put this thing together right every every part i mean like everything and built it and and then it, so he brought it he to kind of go tell like in your video story or whatever tell them just kind of go with it so i don't tell it they'll hear it from you like how i well yeah just talk about how you got started so and all. how i never watched youtube i didn't i didn't really know what was out there or whatever so i had a crazy idea i wanted to build my own chainsaw because i just couldn't i didn't want to go get what was like twelve hundred dollars for that model or something like that yeah yeah uh, so i was like man i ain't seen no way so i started uh getting on ebay and just looking at parts and stuff and I like made out a whole list of every little part of that saw and I just I just went through there and found them all and added them up and it was like 600 something dollars like I'm going to build it <laughs> so I ordered everything and, and put it together and but during that I was I started researching you know this chainsaw and sure enough you come up on YouTube and uh, so how long ago is that being probably oh crap man that was back it's been a while back because you, you've years. mentioned some videos that are pretty yeah, old it's, now. It's so. been years. Well, it was back when you was doing the Cure demolition. And that would have been 18. It was before that. It was mm. probably around 16 or 17, mm -hmm. actually. Yep. So, and then I realized, man, there's all kind of stuff on YouTube. And, uh, of course, one thing led to another. I got into wanting to tear that pond out right down there. There used mm -hmm. to be a pond down there. So, that's how I found Chris. Mm -hmm. let's, dig. let's dig and then i just got consumed with it every day at work i was watching youtube and uh because you were working in a factory to plant yeah. uh, maintenance That's right industrial maintenance industrial yeah. maintenance and we're ready to kind of break free of those chains and get out of there well at the time i didn't i didn't even think about that mm -hmm. like i wasn't even thinking about having my own doing this for a living because you know i didn't grow up in it so therefore i was like well it ain't for me or mm. i still had that mindset like well i didn't grow up in it i i can't do it you know mm -hmm. but one thing led to another and we got the sawmill and the skid steer and started doing little side odd and end stuff and then it's finally like man screw working for somebody i'd rather work for myself 
And mm. just one thing kept building and building and building, and here we are. <laughs> so he brought the saw out here and he wanted me to sign it too. <laughs> Dude. My friend texted me, I'll show you, she said, don't be fangirling too hard. <laughs> <laughs> like, there's a lot going on. I can't really uh, handle all of it right now. And then the dozer showed up. The dozer up. showed up. Day's been a big day, man. It's been a big day. Cool stuff. Yeah. But, yeah, because uh, I remember you saying in the in the videos that you figured out that, that I was, like, right here close by, yeah, too. Yeah, but the thing is, like, you were the very first person that I came across. Right. And I kept watching your videos. I was like, man, he's got to be in Alabama or Mississippi. Or, so he <laughs> yeah. can't. And then the way you talk, right, you know, I was like, he's a, he's a redneck. He can't be that far. And then you then one day you said Columbus, and I was like, holy crap. He's just right down the road. Well, what's funny is I was telling him that, you know, all, a lot of times – he he's never reached out to me or anything and a lot of times that's the way it goes and and uh i just kind of i just kind of stumbled a, a, you know across you and i've been digging back through your videos for the past about two weeks or so and everything and and then you know i i got a hold of your phone number and figured out your name and <laughs> And then I, I just hit the I just hit the send button on the on the phone last night and uh, and stuff. But like I said, I'm glad I got to come up here. I hate I didn't get to meet your freeloading brother-in-law. I but I, that'll be <laughs> that'll be. I I kind of feel like me and me and brother-in-law probably end up we'll probably end up working together a little bit or something, you I know, and doing cool. doing a doing a job together because I. I watched him in some of your videos, and he's obviously got a sense of humor oh, he's, and everything. He's way so, more so, than I so am. he's a he's a hoot. He he'd be fun to, to hang around with, and you know. So we'll be we'll be doing some more because I I uh, I've got a I've got a job in the works up here that I'm gonna need some help yeah. on up here. So uh, well, that'll be cool. Cause yeah. Well, and I tell you, man, it's it's good. Like you know to make the connections too because i know if i if i ever need to leave something here i just bang it oh, bam yeah. you know something like that or whatever you know the same goes for you down back my way you get a job down there i got plenty of room down there and and uh you know drop something off if you if you need to so you work primarily right here in the tupelo area how far do you go most of my business is is within about 30 40 miles of here right uh, and you do it's, it's kind of main rundown of your main bread and butter stuff that you like to do or whatever do what now your main bread and butter type of stuff that you like to do like oh, land clearing yeah, or whatever I, like the reason i got the dozer is i want to focus more on the bigger land clearing stuff For and the, sure. the ponds and stuff like that right oh i just feel like that's that's a lot of overhead so you gotta kind of get the you know the bigger stuff you know done it. that's and right that's right that's what i'm trying to do is to get done faster to move on to, to other things right because so. weather like right now weather plays a big part so you got to be yeah. able to jump in there and get it done while you while the getting is good because yeah. i mean we're only getting two to three days at the most between drying spells and then we get hammered again with rain and i mean we're fixing to dry up here as these trees are starting to put out and grass is starting to put out and uh it's gonna it's gonna dry up um uh, so. pretty pretty quick so yeah it'll be it'll be good but uh so yeah y'all can y'all can check him out smith works on uh on youtube it's w-o-r-x, w -O -R -X. yeah <laughs> s-m-i-t-h if i remember i'll throw a link down in the description box down there where they can link over there to you so one here's one thing all right so you know watching watching your videos it it I'll say this, you're a humble dude. Try to be. And you'll you'll go being humble, you'll go you'll go far. Yeah. You know what I mean? And uh that goes a long way with a lot of people right there, you know. Uh, uh, and and you're doing the YouTube thing and you found out that the YouTube deal is a it's a tough thing. It's it tough really to grow. And when you sit back and you look at some of these other channels and you see where they're at and everything, man, you're thinking, wow, how the heck did they, did they do that? Because it's, it's a lot of work. Yeah. I mean, it's a lot of work, you know, and, and everything that goes along with it. But but you just stay at it, be consistent, and, and you'll do good. I'm sure, 
I'm sure y'all be seeing us in some more videos together because I, I like running new stuff, man, <laughs> playing on stuff and everything. And and I can run the heck out of a dozer, man. Gosh, dog it. Uh, I don't like running the I don't like grinding stumps either, but you know, it pays the bills, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. So uh but yeah, man. Well, I'd be glad for you to come run that. Oh yeah. <laughs> show me how to run it for one <laughs> hey. you might have to give me a tutorial before you okay. leave that'll work that'll work Shoot. Jim's gonna give me a rundown look dude that thing's got an air seat in it it's also got it's also got uh, a heated looks like a heated oh, seat right there in a in a fan on a lot of the new stuff now they blow air through the seat during the summertime yeah. you know and boy it's, oh, that's that is uh, I didn't even realize it had that. Yeah. It should. It should have everything. <laughs> yeah. For what this thing costs. Yeah. Yep. So on this one, I figured out real quick, your part brake is a red one over there. You don't have no pilot control to flip down like you do on the excavator. I got you. Yeah. So you got the part brake and then the button right beside it and then it arms your pilots then once Please. you crank it up. Yes, that one right there. Gotcha. So uh so and all this new stuff you have to let the computer boot up on them. I don't know about this one, but that three thirteen it takes forever. This is pretty quick. It if, it went if you if it's set so it's ready while, to go. It takes That's right. I like your liver on the uh -huh. And this one right here will, it'll let you know if you ain't got the seatbelt on. So if you ain't gonna wear the seatbelt, you're gonna buckle it behind you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because if you start to move, it, it starts screaming at you that you ain't got your seatbelt on. I hope on they can turn that off. <laughs> you might be able to in it. Cause this one here, you're gonna be able to. They did in, the, they did in that big escalator. Yeah. They did it. So you just, of course, all you do is hit that hit that red part brake, touch it, and see it cut that off. Yeah. And now you hit the the lock right there, just touch it. All right, so she's ready so to she's go. She's ready to go in gear. That's right. This is your this is your forward reverse over here. You know, so backwards is backwards, and that's that, and then left and right right there and right there's your ground speed so if you want to you can watch it up here it'll tell you how to see it uh -oh. let's go back to home see it gets speeding up right there yeah. that's your ground speed and everything and you can uh it's got your degrees on your slopes right there your side and your Looks front and back, which is actually really cool too. And then that right there is your angle on your blade. And then that right there is your is your cutting for your thing and up and down. Now one of them buttons right there is gonna be like a float. Yeah. Ford, I don't know which one it is. I know this one over here is one of these is a horn. Yeah, that is a horn right there. I'm not sure what that one does. I don't know on that. It's got a nice glove box right there too. But uh, the camera's slick. Yeah, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna like that. Let's see. Man, all this stuff that keeps up with everything. Okay, so there's your fuel and depth right there. Those gauges. Low temperature. Hydraulic oil temperature. Yeah, you're going to like this. It's got uh, <clears throat> That's probably communicating back with Caterpillar right there. That's gonna be. That's gonna have. A, that's gonna probably have a GPS module and everything. And so, if anything goes to happen on this thing, they'll know about it. 
Yeah, I think you can buy a subscription and see where it's sitting all the time. But right. it pings once a day. Right. Anytime you can see where it's sitting. Right. You. Yep. A lot of the new stuff has that on it. And the, I think a lot of the main reason it has that, they're collecting the data. But also, if you quit paying for it, or they can find it to go get it. <laughs> <laughs> but, like I said, just tracking up the road, man, that thing felt really good right there. Yeah. Of course, uh, your throttle's right there on that twist knob. That's your throttle just like on your excavator. And then that pedal right there is your decelerator. So like when you're pushing and you're getting it in your push running wide open and you go to go back to reverse, you can you can decelerate it down and then switch back to reverse and then let off of it and take off. You know, if you're like you're grading, say you want to grade right up against that tree or a, or a house or some of the structure. And you want to get up there and just kind of feather it out real you know get real fine where it's not you can kind of decelerate it down to where you kind of creep so you could you can use it like a, it's almost like a brake pedal It'll slow the machine way way down you know and then you can, you know adjust your ground speed right there and stuff but i was glad you're here so i can ask like you're running a dozer and you go to change gears or not gears but direction right is it smart to desail then do it? I do it. I do. I do. You can you can go backwards or whatever. You can go ahead and go backwards, yeah. especially if you're running at a slower speed. Yeah. You can do that. But I always I don't I don't like to. To me, it just it, it don't feel good on the machine. Yeah, I didn't so I always decelerate it to and go in reverse. So he told me he's asking this. He's only got what do you say about six minutes about on the border? Yeah. Period. <laughs> And you went from People you went right from so nothing <laughs> to this right here, and never really been on a bulldozer. Yeah. It's like me with stump grinding. I went the first day I had my stump grinder. I grinded 11 miles straight. Oh, thought gosh. I was gonna die. <laughs> my fingers were so sore from working the toggles on the yeah. thing, and then my back was about to break. But I went from not knowing hardly anything to expert level 11 hours. Oh yeah. <laughs> Well, I, I just can't be scared to yeah. you know, keep growing. Yep. All right, so one thing you'll have to watch is like if you're pushing brush or something, don't let something hop up and get in between the the back of the blade and the front of the machine. If you do, stop and get off. Because you got all kind of hoses and, and everything right there. Yeah. Just get off and pick. It's real easy for it to happen yeah. if, you're, if you're pushing. And you'll catch like a... Uh, you knock the glass out of one of these things like that quick and his glass is not cheap either yeah, dude so look <laughs> if you're pushing and you see a sapling start the boat just back up back up and catch it with a blade where you go ahead and either shear it off or or pop it out of the ground you know yeah. and everything and get it out of your way and back because it's real easy to hit this stuff right here with it which you're primarily going to be in the dirt the majority of the time right that's the plan, but you know, I don't ever know. Gotcha. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't. I don't plan on like just uprooting trees with it. But, right. But small stuff, I don't guess it hurt. But. Well, just watch. Just watch all that stuff up there, because it's like I said, it's easy for something to come free and slap it. And, uh, but uh, well, I'm gonna jump down. You move it around. I'll get you uh, moving around. So let me unlock this door here.